Guys, Ben's been in a car crash. What? I can't find it online. Where did you see this, Joe? Right here. A guy named Clone broke the news. Joe, that's not a news channel. That's a YouTube personality. It's just fiction. But it's got thousands of views and everyone really likes it. It must be true. Ben hasn't been in a car crash. He's dropping Peterson off and will be back soon enough, possibly with the new DM. Oh man, it all looks so real. How are you supposed to tell the difference? I know, right? It's fucking crazy, dude. Someone has done videos about me interviewing Dragon Ball characters. It looks dope as shit. It would be awesome to drop some LSD with Goku and talk about our existence on a spiritual level. BTW, I've got some kick-ass mushrooms from Russell Brand if you boys want to party. Maybe later, Rogan, right now, I'm trying to brush up on some rules. We don't know who our next DM will be, and I want us to be ready for what comes next. Anyone know where Donald has gone? Something about making an important phone call or speech or maximum bullshit. I don't know. I kind of tune him out after the first few words. That's right. Send her the next check. The usual amount with kisses and a wink wink. Okay, I gotta go. What's up, losers? The new DM not here yet? Barack. Why are you wasting time reading that? I already know everything there is to know about this game. Just follow my lead. I think having more than one of us clued up on the rules will benefit the party. Nah, fuck that. We just go balls deep into any situation. Throw caution to the wind. Then if it does go sideways, just pay them off. Does that work? Every single time. As solid as your real life contingencies are, I'm still going to read up on this. Whatever, nerd. Sounds like they're here. Hey gang, Alex has agreed to help out his DM. He doesn't know the game all that well, but has some ideas for the story. It's more than just ideas, Ben. I'm about to take you fellas into the far reaches of the unknown. If you thought what I already know was wild, it's nothing compared to what's waiting for you out there. Perfect, dude. The shrooms are just kicking in, so I'm down for whatever you throw at us. Let's get fucking wild, Jones. You guys have barely touched the surface of what's going on. You were lucky Chief Goblin Clinton was only the beginning of the master plan that's taking place right under your noses. Are you joining us, Ben? That's right. I'm going to be an elf bard known as Volantis. An elf? Didn't we already have one of those? Yeah, but uh, he got crushed by Build a T-Rex. Shouldn't we have something else instead of an elf? For diversity reasons, which I'm all in favor of. Did you know my vice president is black and a woman? Oh, really, Joe? You don't say. I'm serious, Barack. She really is a woman. I sniffed her hair and my nose knows these things. Creepy shit aside, but I agree with the Bidenator. Ben, you should be something else. And you know what? I have just the answer. Where does he think he's going in my house? I saw this as I was wondering the house while on the phone. I think it's your size squeaker. Ben's gonna be a Playboy bunny? No fucking way am I wearing that. Besides, there's no race that that would go with. Actually, Ben, there is. It's called a hair gone. I like rabbits. Of course you do, Lenny. Just don't go touching this one. I say, if we're going to have Shapiro with us, he can be taken down a peg. Sounds good, right? Sure, why the fuck not? This could be fun. I'll go along with this. Alex, come on. You must agree. As I'm the player here, I get to decide what race I am? I would, Ben. However, after looking over your notes, you've allowed Joe to be a goblin mid-combat and you change Donald's giant to a dwarf. So I'd say, I'm going with the party on this. This is totally asinine. Get in the bunny costume. I should have stayed at Peterson's. Okay, guys. The fight with the Chief Goblin Clinton and her pet T-Rex bill has ended. The last you saw of her, she was fleeing into the forest just north of your position. Half the party are unconscious. The fighter is badly beaten and the wizard is dead, crushed under the now dead Rex. What are you doing? I suggest as we know what direction she went in, we rest up for now, get our strength back, and then plan a course of action. Fuck that, we should go charging after her and leave the weak behind. Just how much health do you have left? That's not important. How much, Donald? Two HP. I, I, I punched Kramen the fighter on the side of the head. Your punch has knocked out the fighter. You all suck. As you lay there, Donald, you see a figure wandering over towards you, playing a lute. A small rabbit-like figure approaches, humming a tune. Good day, fellow travelers. You look a little worse for wear. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I use healing word on the players that are unconscious. Thank you, kind rabbit. I am Batista. 
This is Kramen, Boudicca, and Armand. We are on a mission to take out a goblin group which have been destroying the capital's farmlands. After resting up, we will be pursuing one of their chief goblins into the forest. We could do with your healing abilities on this journey. Will you accompany us? I have no interest in the troubles of the capital. However, my home is past the forest, so I shall accompany you on the way. Very well, DM. We will rest for now if it is okay with you. As you wish. Your party has a long rest in the semi-destroyed tavern. The staff inside have evacuated during the battle, so you have free reign of what is left of the building. I'd like to check inside the tavern. I'm going to search the saddle of the T-Rex and see if there's anything of use. Give me an investigation check. I got a 17. 14. You find three food ration packs, 20 gold pieces, and a potion of healing. Sweet. Joe, you find 30 gold pieces behind the bar and a plus one dagger. Nice. The following day, after a long rest, you make your way into the forest. Although it is a new day, within minutes of walking into the forest, the sun is almost instantly blocked out, putting you into semi-darkness, the odd ray of light piercing through the trees, casting almond-shaped shadows that disappear as quickly as they form. You all have the sense of being watched, you walk on for a few hours, listening out for anything, but the forest is eerily silent, as if someone or something has frightened everything away. I need you all to make perception checks. Eight. Dirty 20. 19. Three. Nat 20. Trump and Biden, you fail to notice something wrapping itself around your legs, and you are both hoisted into the air. You are both high up in the trees, hanging upside down. The rest of you notice thick vines twisting around your legs. What do you do? I slice at mine with my two hand axes. I slash at mine with my longsword. I cast a mage hand to rip the vine off. You three successfully break free from the vines. The ground begins to shake and the trees ahead of you begin to bend as if being pushed aside, causing sunlight to spill in from above, allowing you to see clearly what lies ahead of you. feel a wave of fear as it looks down on you all. Prepare for battle. Okay, gang, now it's your turn to get involved. Help Alex out. What sort of danger has just made its way to the party? Leave your suggestions down below in the comment section, and the best answer will help influence the DM's decision. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content.